Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we are taking the cheapest snare on Sweetwater.com and making it slap. So what snare am I talking about? I'm talking about the Ludwig Superlight. This is the cheapest snare on Sweetwater.com and it goes for $200. Now you may say 200 bucks is a lot of money and I still agree with you, but when there are other snares that are six, even $800, uh, the big brother to this snare drum is about $600, 200 bucks is a very great price point for an entry level drum that bears the name Ludwig, a reputable brand. You know it's not gonna be trash. So let's talk about uh, this snare. Why is it cheap? How can we make it sound out of the box? And what can we do to make it absolutely slap, smack, sound amazing, bite? Let's see. So this is the five and a half by 14 version. You can get a six and a half by 14. You can get an eight by 14. It's really versatile. This is a one millimeter rolled uh, steel drum, which is I think the main reason why it is uh, at the price point is because it's steel, not like aluminum or brass or copper, or one of the more uh, designer metals, if you will. Um, steel uh, snares seem to be a little bit uh, hairier, more overtones, that kind of stuff. But um, this has, uh, 2.3 millimeter uh, triple flanged hoops, so pretty standard hoops. Um, it's got these kind of uh, little good little lugs on it. I'm trying to think of the name. You can tell me the name in the comments. What are the name of these lugs? They're nice. Uh, they're kind of the smaller lugs. It's got uh, you know an unbranded uh, head except for just Ludwig. Maybe Ludwig makes them. I don't know. You could probably find that out too. And then just a standard. So I think it's a uh, one ply. So. Uh, the reason why this is not as expensive as uh, other snares, I think the main reason is just the uh, the steel, right? It's not a seamless shell. Um, it is uh, steel and not aluminum, copper, brass. Um, and so I don't know that it necessarily means that they cut corners. I think it's just lower um, end materials versus some of the higher end stuff. So I think especially like aluminum is gonna be a little drier to me um, when I played steel versus aluminum. Steel has a little more overtones, um, so it, the idea is that can be a little more hard to control, more difficult to control. So let's just see how this thing sounds because I believe that we can get this $200 snare sounding absolutely incredible. Um, I have not used this uh, snare. I've got a, a 68 Superphonic, which is kind of the big brother uh, to this, and I have a 70s Acrolyte, which is kind of you know comparable in the sense of in the 70s uh, when I got mine, the Acrolyte was like the student drum. So I think Ludwig, really knows what they're doing as far, they really know what they're doing, but they really know what they're doing as far as kind of this entry point snare. So can you get a cheaper snare somewhere else on Amazon or something else? Yeah, absolutely, I'm sure you can. But to me, you can trust, this is a Ludwig snare. It's not gonna be junk, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be nice, entry level, but yet a snare that can last you a lifetime if you treat it right. So um, let's just see how this thing sounds out of the box. Let's get it tuned up, and then let's talk about some things that I would do if I wanted to upgrade this, or say if you bought one, maybe you need to replace the heads, or what you could do to upgrade this snare to make it slap, smack, bite, hit, whatever your uh, word of choice there. Okay, so, out of the box, I just pulled out of the box from Sweetwater, and let's see how it sounds. I haven't played it yet. Okay, yeah, so it's hairy. It's got a lot of overtones. So let's um, do a couple things first. So I'm gonna tune this up a little bit. Let's listen to this drum. So if I wanna see if it's in tune, uh, I'm gonna put my kind of hand in the middle. All right, so it's pretty in tune. Um, I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in a star pattern. So if I wanna tune this up, I'm gonna start whatever lug I start, I'm gonna tighten. I'm gonna go across, tighten, move over one, tighten, go across, tighten, move over one, tighten, across, tighten, move over one, tighten. Just work my way around in a star pattern. So I'm gonna tighten this up just a little bit. I'm 
We're gonna check the bottom head. Okay, I'm gonna tighten up the bottom head a little bit as well. Okay, so sounded good. We're still getting some. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a dampener on here. Now there's all kinds of products, but I'm using the Slap Clats Pro. So what I like about this package is it comes with multiple sizes. It comes with a small, medium, and large dampener, and they're a little bit thicker than some of the other ones that I've seen and used. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for the, um, the biggest one they have here. And I'm gonna place that here on the drum and see how much of these overtones we can squash. That smacks. Now, to me, it almost takes away too much of the character. I'm gonna move that, um, that over to just the very edge and see. Um, as a mid-range snare, though, that sounded great. Let's tune it up a little bit higher. Let's see if we can get into what I'm gonna call the bite zone. I want to get a little more bite out of it, introduce a little more overtones maybe, and see what that feels like and sounds like. Man, um, I don't know if you noticed how easy it was for me to get this thing up and running. A few small tweaks, the snare wires are at a good tension, and this thing sounds great. Nice sensitivity. Was that not slapping enough for you? Okay, let's go a little higher. Let's do two things. We're going to downgrade from the largest dampener to the mid-sized dampener. Let's reintroduce a little more of the overtones and let's take it up a little bit higher. See if this will do it for you. All right, so. A lot of this tuning is really just kind of by feel um, to see. I'm putting a little bit of trust in the drum that the way the lugs feel is a direct indication of how tight it is. You know, especially older drums, how tight a lug feels may not be a good indication of how tight the drum is if there's gunk in there or something, but let's see. So I'm taking this up a little bit more, introducing a little more bite and taking away a little more um, of the dampening. What's wrong with that? Let's go down to the smallest uh, dampening pad. Just to get a little bit of that, even more of that back. The cheapest snare on Sweetwater?
I got no issues with that. This thing sounds great. Now, I can't speak to the durability, obviously, um, but like most drums, I would say if you take care of this thing, it's gonna last a long, long time. So that is the Ludwig Superlight. Now, this thing's 200 bucks. Again, I've got the uh, five and a half version. You can go up six, uh, six and a half. Now I'm lying, I don't know exactly what the size are. I think it's six and a half and then eight. So that has even more options than some of the higher end guys like the Superphonic. So let's do um, something else. Now we've talked about what would I do to tune this up. I would tune up the, the top head. I'm gonna kind of make sure that all the lugs, everything is in tune with itself. I'm gonna bring up the bottom head. I'm gonna make sure the tension is not too tight. Let's talk about what it sounds like if the snares are too tight. Let me over crank these snares, okay? So what's gonna happen is it's gonna lose sensitivity and it's gonna choke the snare because those snare wires are so tight, it's not getting any activity off of that bottom head. Okay, so here we go. Okay, you hear that? It's losing sensitivity. Now that is a sound, you may like that. But, uh, it's not as great because it's really choking that that drum up now Let's uh, Release this a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it down to like buzz the buzz area Okay, so obviously too loose Bring it right back up This is a very enjoyable snare, as if you can't tell. Um, so yeah, so that's the Ludwig Superlight. Now, let's talk about if I wanted to upgrade this, or let's say I bought a used one, need a new drum head, or I just wanted to take it to the next level, what would I do? I'm glad you asked. Very good. This is the Evans 14 inch snare tune up kit. Now I was talking to my guy at Sweetwater and I said, hey, let's, um, let's add some heads if we were to you know, put some new heads on this kit. And he's like, bro, you need to check out the tune-up kit. And I was like, all right, cool. I didn't really think that much of it. But when I got this, I gotta be honest, I already opened it up. But when I opened this up, I was floored. This is so cool. I, I mean, I've never bought one of these. Maybe if you bought one of these before, you know what's up, but let's make sure this camera over here can get it. You open this thing up and it's got everything you could possibly need. So let's talk about what is in here. Okay, so uh, first of all, it comes with two heads, okay? It comes with the uh, UV-1. The UV-1 is a one-ply 10 mil uh, drum head. So this is a thick coated head, but it's a single ply. And then it comes with a snare side 300. So it comes with both heads you need, and then it comes with snare wires, okay? This is the Pure Sound uh, Custom Pro 14 inch 20 strand snare wires. And one of the biggest upgrades is it goes from the string, which we're gonna look at, um, to the strap. So the straps basically give you a more consistent pull, whereas the strings, if you get it offset a little bit, you can have one side of your snares that are really tight and one side's really loose, so you can't get a good tension. You can, if you try to tighten it up, then one side's too tight and it's too loose and vice versa. So you upgrade your snare wires, okay? This comes with a tuning key. All right, here's a box. This has a tuning key in it. Check this out. I haven't seen this yet. Okay, so this is like a speed key. We've got maintenance accessories, metal polish, lug lubricant, polishing cloth, and EQ pods. Polishing cloth, which is branded Evans. That's nice. Metal polish and you use this during the cleaning phase, it says. EQ pods, okay, so these are basically moon gels. All right, so you got two of these, and these are, um, of the, the ones I have, the slap clats are very sticky and porous feeling, and these are really hefty, these Evans ones. They're red, you can see here, and they're a little bit um, denser. Then we've got lug lubricant in this little guy. So instructions, open package, dip the threading of each tension rod into the lubricant package during the clean phase. 
follow the install procedure. Okay, so um, it's got that. And then finally, you also get a pair of sticks. These are 5A rebound. So um, what's really cool about this though, this tune-up kit, if you're not exactly sure the process you should go through to uh, you know, change your heads on your kit, this has a step-by-step -step instructions, okay? This is so cool. It's got a greeting on here. It's got instructions for every aspect of this. The whole process is laid out. I mean, this is really, really cool. So we're going to replace um, the heads and the snare wires. We probably don't need some of these things with it being a brand new snare. Probably don't need the polish or the lubricant. Okay, so we're gonna talk about taking off the head um, before we put on the new one. And so we're gonna go in the star pattern, just like I talked about tightening it. I wanna start by loosening a little bit on one, starting with one, and then go across, loosen a little bit with two, move over three, move across four, move over five, across six, over seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that'll get us uh, to take our drum head off without damaging the hoop. So just a All right, now that it's loose enough, I'm just gonna unscrew it with my fingers on the threads. All right, so I haven't put on the bottom head or the new snare wires yet, but even with just the top head, I would say the bite zone has been reached. Check this out. All right, we can use one of these EQ pods that come with the kit. Yo, this snare slaps to me. I know this video is called Making the Cheapest Snare in Sweetwater Slap, but maybe that's a lie. This thing slaps with little to no help, and you guys saw that. I literally tuned it up in like five seconds, and this thing is just smacking. We're going to replace the snare wires. Now, this is this one is a big one to me because um, if you can see here, we've, the way this is done with these two guys, if I can find them, with these two guys, is if this tension is off, right? If this one's pulled further down, this one's pulled back, then this gets shifted, um, you know, this one gets shifted down, this one gets shifted back, then this is uneven, like I said. So um, replacing this with the straps is, is a big help. So we're gonna take this off really carefully. This thing is just cool. This is just cool. Okay, so let's talk about the snare wires and then we'll place the snare bottom head. So um, these are really, what's really cool about these is they come with these coddle pins, which I've got my phone out now. So this has got this coddle pin right here. And what that does is that allows really kind of a quick change. So what I've done is I've attached it on either side. Uh, it's got these markers on the side as well. So you can see I've gone to one, like one inch and I've uh, marked it off there. And then the other side, the same thing. Come over here, we've got one. So I'm just attaching it at that one mark. And now what I can do is I can release this, throw off. And then if I want to, I can simply pull this pin and then that takes this out. So now I can easily remove this without having to completely take off that um, wire. I'm gonna do that on both sides. So I'm taking these coddle pins out and that way I can just take off the pure strand wires and I've got free access. Now, I will say that like putting it back on, I can do one side. I'm probably gonna have to uh, remove, unscrew one strap to get the coddle pin to go back in really easily to that strap and then I can just put it back to that marker since it has that like one inch marker or whatever and then just line it back up. So I'm gonna take this bottom head off and put the new Evans snare head on.
This thing's got no business sounding like this. Um, now, sounds great to me. You may not like it. Another note I want to make is that I don't think there's a just massively drastic difference with the snare tune-up kit. Because it's a brand new snare, right? The head was brand new. The bottom head was brand new. Everything was brand new. Um, so it does sound better to me. I feel like the snare sound better. I feel like the head sounds better. Everything for me sounds better, um, even though it was brand new. But for you, this will be a, a more drastic difference if you do need to tune up a snare you already have. Um, but I just wanted to say that this is what I would do to get this snare to the highest uh, playing capacity. Adding the uh, pure sound um, snare wires with the strap just gives you more durability. It gives you more consistency. It gives you more longevity and uh, reliability. The head is an upgrade. The bottom head is an upgrade. And this thing is $200 and it sounds great. Now the snare tune-up kit is going to run you 75 bucks. Um, so if you were to add those two things together, this snare would be at $275 in value or just the UV one itself is 30 bucks. So $230 depending on how you want to slice it. But uh, bottom line is this is the cheapest drum from Sweetwater, the cheapest snare drum that Sweetwater offers. It's a Ludwig. It's a super light. It sounds great. It comes in multiple configurations and you can add a different head on it and make it sound even better. So to me, in my opinion, this cheap snare drum slaps. Now, I would love to hear your opinion in the comments below. Let me know, what do you think about this snare? What do you think about uh, these heads? What do you think about all the choices I've made on this snare? What do you think about the tuning? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you have a cheap snare that you love, that you stand by, that um, just does great and is putting in work for you? Um, anyways, I'd love to know. So I'm gonna play this a little bit more so you can hear it and enjoy it as much as I am. And thank you guys so much for checking this out. Thanks to Sweetwater for hooking me up with the snare. I gave them this idea, said, hey, I wanna just talk about the cheapest snare, which is the super light. And they're like, let's go. That's a great idea. So they sent it out to me, uh, sent out the tune-up kit. And I really appreciate their partnership. Um, again, I just wanna just show you guys that uh, getting a great sound doesn't have to mean having top of the line everything all the time. You can get a great sound out of this $200 snare. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And so let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I'd encourage you to do so. I've got over 600 videos. I don't know, I need to update that number probably. Uh, maybe over 650 now. But over 600 videos of drum tutorials and uh, playthroughs and gear walkthroughs and all that kind of stuff. If you have any questions about anything I'm playing, Everything I've got is linked in the description of this video. Um, in fact, I'm gonna talk about some other snares. I have a newsletter that I send out where I'm gonna deep, do a deep dive into all the snares that I own, why I bought them, what I think about them, my favorite snares, that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in a deep dive into the world of my snares, sign up for my newsletter. I also do giveaways there, give away a pack of sticks and different things. So yeah, thanks so much for checking this out. And if you got any questions, hit me up below and hope to see you guys in the next video.